Well, I was surprised by the lack of uh, effort in India chasing down what what was ultimately a pretty modest target. Uh, the Indian bowlers had done well, uh, but India's batting completely kind of caved in. And uh, towards the end, I was a little surprised, uh, or not a little, very surprised that the defensive or almost the defeatist approach uh, employed by Dhoni and uh, some of the other batsmen. I mean, in a one-day match, you either win or you lose. There's no question of drawing the match. Overall, though, I'm not surprised at Pakistan's superiority. They've had the better bowling by far. And uh, also in the batting, they've, they've looked stronger. Well, I don't think you can pick one culprit. I think, uh, uh, you know, what's emerged in this in this uh, in these two matches is certainly that the indian batting is just not clicking and there have been problems right from the start i mean if you are 29 for 5 or if you are 98 for 5 it's very difficult to uh, you know win a match or set a target which can be defended so we all know that the bowling attack is a little feeble and it was always incumbent on the batting to provide that buffer for the bowlers to come good which has not happened in either of the two matches that's a million dollar question. I mean, you know, you can mouth platitudes and say we must try and win the third match, we must, you know, fight and, you know, whatever else. But I think he needs to be far more inspiring now because uh, clearly things are not working. So either he has to have a change of personnel, he should push for that, or he must think of some tactics, uh, means of communication which uh, helps players perform better than what they've been doing so far. I think it's been a huge uh, psychological impact because losing to Pakistan is always uh, has you know a deep impact, and losing so badly is perhaps going to make it worse. And remember, this comes at the you know after a series defeat against England in the Test series. So this is getting to be a pretty uh, you know sad uh, season for India, sad and troublesome season for India because uh, there have been retirements, there have been performances that which just don't add up. Uh, barring the odd youngster like uh, Cheteshwar Pujara who has come good, there is not much to say about some of the young talent coming in. So overall, it is a pretty dismal scenario for India. Well, you know, right now, you know, it is uh, difficult to say what changes are vital because you are having problems at, uh, in, in the top order, you are having problems in the middle order, you are having problems in the bowling. So it seems like almost in every department, the Indian team is struggling. Uh, but clearly what I feel is uh, in the fountainhead of a lot of the problems is in the opening partnership which is not clicking. Gambhir and Sehwag, I mean they are both fabulous players or have been in the past but they just don't seem to be, seem to have kind of sorted out their problems this uh, year. Uh, Dhoni himself needs to get more runs at least in test matches, he's been wonderful in ODIs. Uh, Virat Kohli seems to have lost form now so he needs to come back into form and the bowlers need to get wickets, they're just not looking capable even on home tracks of bowling the opposition out. So overall, as I mentioned, it seems to be a collective and all-round failure. Yes, I, I look, this is the most hotly debated issue in Indian cricket right now, whether Dhoni should be retained or not. All I can say is that he is skating on very thin ice because whatever the reasons India's players are not performing, the batters are failing, the bowlers are failing, at the end of the day, a captain has to be assessed by the results. And if you look at the last 18-20 months, it's a very, very sorry scenario. So I think he's skating on very thin ice unless he can really turn it around uh, against England in the five-day, five, day, five uh, one day series. And that is if he retains the captaincy, I think his, his days could be numbered as a captain. Well, look, you know, Fletcher and company don't go out and play in the field. So, in that sense, you could say that, uh, you know, they can only be, they can only look as good as the team uh, which performs there. But having said that, again, as you assess the captain on his results, on his own personal performances as well as that of the team, the entire coaching staff and support staff will have to be, assist, uh, will have to be assessed on the performances of the players, the fitness of the players. And it's not a pretty sight at all. The catches are being dropped, the bowling has looked, you know, uh, not penetrative at all and the batsmen have been struggling. So it's a colossal uh, failure even where the coaching is concerned and I'm sure that Duncan Fletcher is going to feel the heat also along with his support staff.